Global warming has its effects, but one of the more unrecognized factors is ocean acidification. What is acidification? Acidification can be classified by how acidic or basic a substance is. For the definition of acids and bases, there are several theories, but the most popular one is the Arrhenius theory. In this theory, an acid is categorized as a substance that produces hydrogen ions in a reaction, and a base is defined as a substance that produces hydroxide ions. Acids and bases are measured on what is called a pH scale. If a substance is more acidic, the pH number will be lower. If a substance is more basic, the pH number will be higher. Numbers range from 1 to 14. To give you an idea of what the numbers mean, each whole value below a number is 10 times more acidic than the next number higher. pH number increases, the number of hydrogen ions in the substance decrease, and when the pH number decreases, the number of hydrogen ions in the substance increase. There are two ways to test for acidification. The first is to take a pH strip and put it into the solution. It will become a certain color and you need to compare that color to the pH scale. Red is more towards the acidic end and blue is more towards the basis. The second way is to use titration. You take an acid and put a few drops of the indicator in it and then start adding base until the indicator shows. If you keep track of the amount of base in it, then you can assume that when the indicator shows that the amount of base and acid are the same. So how does this relate to our acidifying ocean? Our ocean is in an equilibrium. What is an equilibrium? An equilibrium is when both sides of the equation are equal. When the ocean acidifies, there is an equilibrium displacement because the sides are unequal. When this situation occurs, something called the Le Chatelier Principle gets put in place. The Le Chatelier Principle says that when there is a disturbance in an equilibrium, it will do anything to even it out. This applies for the temperature, the pressure, and the contents of the equilibrium. When the products of a reaction change, then so do the reactants, and vice versa. So what are the contents in the equilibrium that are getting disturbed? When carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, about a fourth of it gets absorbed by the ocean. CO2 enters the ocean, it forms a carbonic acid, H2CO3. This results in more H+. Carbonic acid naturally breaks down into bicarbonate and carbonate. The increase in hydrogen ions reduce the pH, which means that the ocean is becoming more acidic. This results in equilibrium displacement because there are more bicarbonates than carbonates. Because of the smaller amount of carbonates, extra carbonate is being removed from the shells and coral, which are made up of calcium carbonate. This is resulting in the bleaching of our shells and coral. The carbon from the shells and the coral are being taken to fix the displaced equilibrium because of the Le Chatelier principle. Ocean acidification is a huge growing issue that is affecting our world. Changes must be made in the near future to preserve what is left of our oceans.